Okay, so it's another quick video. Um, this time we're going to be looking at GoPro accessories. So uh, there's the GoPro Hero 6 Black with its little uh, mounting cage. So it's accessories for this little QT because it is a bit funky. Um, they've just arrived. So here's the box. Let's get it opened. See what they have sent us. Right, I'll move the box out of the way. Um, I know the packing slip, so we are going to be looking at. Can you see that? I don't know. A Karma grip, uh, Wi Fi remote, tripod mount, Karma grip case, uh, Casey. Uh, oh, and a GoPro six pack of stickers. I didn't order those, they're a freebie. So let's have a look. That's Casey. Some packing things. That's the smart remote tripod mount. Karma grip. Case for it. And here's the stickers. Um, yeah, stickers, great, thanks. Um, get out of the way. Why don't we look up first? We look at the karma grip first. So we'll just rip that open. Get the knife. Here's the seal. It's got a seal running along that edge there. So I'll just slice that. Bit of a funny noise. I think it's a problem, but we'll see. Ah, yeah, there we are. It's um, that funny noise wasn't something that's broken. It was just these little manuals and things. So there's a manual in there about what to do. You don't get much of a manual with the um, camera itself. You just get pictorial references on the box. There's a warning. Uh, don't hit trees. Okay, I'll take that on board. And that's um, multilingual safety instructions. Oh, hello. It's a rather nice box. Something else in there, what's that? Update your camera grip and camera. So it's also in software updates. So that's a rather nice little box. It's got a little hook on the top so it can be hung up, and that's what it looks like in the shop. A USB lead. A quick release mount. Is that? screws on to whatever and then you put your thing in there and snap it shut. Here's the actual business end of it. Packaging, get rid of that. And here's the actual Karma grip, which is a stabiliser. So that's it there. Obviously it needs the, the camera in it to um, properly balanced but that's quite um that's a bit funky. Do we get batteries? Well no it recharges isn't it? It's sort of part powered up and you see it doing it lot so hey that's gonna be kind of fun. And I'll turn it off. Press that. Press and hold. Yeah. Okay, if in doubt press and hold. Um so that's the karma grip, that's kind of fun. That's for stability for that, shove that over there, bag for that as well, and this is the uh, case for it, this is less of a retail product than the camera with its little hook for POS display stands, there's the camera grip case, that holds it 
shirt, so we'll just yank that off. Get rid of that little bit of plastic. And so this is the official case for the Karma Grip. And that sort of goes in there somehow. That way. Don't know. I think it works better when the, when it's got a camera on it. It's much it's much more properly balanced when it's got the camera on. So um, that's why it's been a bit wobbly and wiggly. That's the official grip for it, uh, the official case for the grip, and there's a little slot, I guess that fits in that slot there, and there's a little slot there for your USB lead, and that forms a nice case. It's quite a robust case. It's quite a, it's a proper case. I think if you dropped it, it would survive the fall. So it's, see how it's meant to fit in because it's got the bubbly bit at the top so it goes up and then the camera sits there. But the, the, the actual um, camera grip won't function correctly until it's got the weight of the camera in because that's obviously central to it balancing. So the case, that case is quite nice. I'll see how that will protect it. So we're trying to pull the stuff together. This is a more general case called Casey. Open that up and have a look at that. This is for the camera itself and accessories. Let's just um, take this cardboard off. That's got a retail hanger as well. And there it is. So you've got key features. Customizable interior, removable pouch, uh, semi-rigid exterior, and weather resistant. Mm. I haven't defined what weather resistant means. Resistant isn't necessarily a very encouraging word. That I have to cut. So that's the tag that keeps it shut. So let's open it up. Nice little zip. It's got a little handle, so we're liking that. And inside we have the little bag. That's what they say, put your batteries in, and it's double lined. There's another zip in there as well, so this separates things out, little compartments. Branded with GoPro, so we kind of like that. Inside we've got these little bits that we can move around to make, make your own compartments. Um, yeah, I can see how that would work. I think it's also if you've got like lots of different GoPros rather than just one with accessories. So I think, well, versatile, I think is the word that springs to mind. Again, it's quite, it's quite solid, that's quite nice. It's a sort of smooth bottom and a rough sort of branded top. As I say, these, these little bits here are obviously, you can move those around. Um, so that's the case, quite a robust thing. Next thing we'll look at is the tripod mounts. Now, on the previous video, you get some sticky mounts, but they're not tripod mounts. You sort of stick one to your, your helmet. Well, that opened easier than I was expecting. So you get a little tripod. And two mounts. So you get that mount there. And you get that one there. So these have basically got holes in. So you can mount directly onto the tripod. I'll just take unscrew this and I'll show you. you can put it directly onto the tripod. Honestly, maybe you can't do that. We've got a um Got a little screw, can you can that screw in? Doesn't even fit. Maybe it's not in the right place. I haven't looked at the instructions. Oh wait, yeah, there we okay, yeah. Phew. That was nearly very embarrassing. So um yeah, so that's that on. So you can mount it like that. Because remember the actual GoPro itself doesn't have any mounting screws, it's completely sort of well completely smooth device so you put it in this cage this little cage here and then that, that's what you mount to other things so it fits on that tripod 
with the supplied screw that comes with it. That's the mount that came with it that clips into that mount there. So you can have that on your tripod and then clip it on. Or there's that mount, which uh, is obviously more permanent because that will screw directly into that. So if you've got a lot of tripods, um, different tripods, you can fit that to your GoPro and keep moving it around each one. Or if you've just got one tripod, you can fit that on there and then it just clips on using the standard mount that comes with it. So you've got a bit of versatility. Um, uh, and throwing in the little tripod is quite a nice idea, um, but whether it's worth 25 quid, that's quite pleasing with that fits together. Um, whether it's worth 25 quid obviously is debatable. Well, 24.99. It probably isn't, because these plastic bits probably cost a fraction of a penny to make. So that's that. That's quite good, I think. Um, that's the only way you can get to fit to a tripod, unless you want to bodge your own. So, um, yep, that's the tripod thing sorted out. Get rid of the packaging for that. And the final thing we're going to look at. I've had 11 minutes so far. I don't want to take too long. Uh, the final thing is the smart remote. Let's see if we can get into that. Like that. Now the GoPro has got voice control. So that all came apart quite nicely. There's a little bit on the back about what the buttons do that you look at in the shop. It's got the hanging thing. So obviously it's meant to be on a point of sale. Let's see what's in the box first. We have got, ooh, what's this? That's a USB lead. So I'm guessing it's rechargeable. We have also got a little teeny weeny strap. A Velcro strap. Hmm. Uh, nothing else in there at all. Little tiny keyring loop, can you see that? Little tiny keyring loop. Little tiny box. An actual um, an actual manual. Wow. That makes a change. Oh, it is bilingual, so don't be, don't be too excited that you've got a proper manual. Well, it's probably more than bilingual, actually. Um, that's safety information, so they're quite thorough about that. Um, I dropped something as well. I drop. Oh, look, more stickers. So basically, if you can um, advertise GoPro quite a lot with this, because I've got about a million stickers. And here's the actual remote itself. Well, that's a bit funky. Yeah, there's a lock thing there. Ooh, it's got a release thing. So there's a belt strap. There. Guess that's how you charge it. So it's USB charging, there's no battery compartment. And the screws are little hex screws. Little Torx things, not Torx, are they? Uh, and there's the thing. It's not. Doesn't come with any juice. So that's the recharging cable. And it's got a release on it. And then you get the branded GoPro buckle, which presumably. Oh, dropped it. Which presumably. That will fit on. Maybe. Don't know. Or you can use the included loop. Um, it's only first impressions, it might be completely wrong. Um, but it looks about right. Well, I'll just open this and see what it looks like. That's basically a strap of some kind. So, um, yeah. Just a little strap. Let it fit through there. Won't fit through there, so I'm not actually sure what that is. 
see what it says. It says wrist strap, attachment key, attachment ring. Oh, I see. Ah, right. Attach the remote to the strap. Oh, I get it. Thread through the strap through the slots on the back of the remote. Position along. So you can sort of be doing this. Beep, beep, beep. So, ah, yes, look, there's a little ridge there. And you poke it up through. Poke it in there. I if I can actually get to feed through. And poke it through there. And there's your, there's your wrist strap. So you can have it on your wrist. Um, it's Bluetooth, so the range is going to be fairly impressive. Uh, what do they say to do with that then? Oh, you can attach keys to it. Yeah. So you put that loop, you put that loop, which is included, a little um, key ring ring, on that there, and then you put your keys on it or whatever. And then to charge it up, you take that one out and you fit that one. So that all seems a bit, yeah, that's all straightforward. Although I had a look at the manual, um, luckily it was on that page too. So the smart remote you get the recharging, the remote itself, a very handy as it turns out manual, a wrist strap, some stickers, uh, lots of packaging obviously. And that's the remote. Oh, that needs pairing with it because it's Bluetooth. Um, with the tripod, you get a little tiny tripod. Uh, it's the tripod attachment kit, you get a tripod. The tiny one, you get a general tripod mount. If you've got multiple tripods, you can use that with a single GoPro. If you've got one tripod and one GoPro, then you can fit that on there and it clips and unclips. And that's the same as the clips that you get with it, except this has got tripod screw holes in it rather than a sticky pad. And that's what you get with that. With the Karma case, uh, Karma grip case, I say not the Karma, that's the drone. With the Karma grip case, you just get a case, but it's quite a robust case. It's quite um, it's reinforced. I think if you drop it, you'll be fine. Um, I think it's also weatherproof, so that's actually quite that's quite a nice thing. With the uh, Casey, you get a little bag to put your bits, and bobs in. Uh, as a bag. A zippable compartment in there as well so you can compartmentalize everything and of course you can use these dividers here to compartmentalize the main base as well i think the idea is that you can put one two three four you can put lots of gopros in one case or you can put one gopro in and accessories and it, yeah you get the versatility so that's again that's quite a substantial the handle's quite nice quite a substantial thing quite like that and the gopro is that big so you can get probably about five or six in there so that's actually quite a small camera. Uh, with the Karma Grip, you get the Karma Grip, and then you get um, a mounting ring, so you can attach that to whatever, drop it in, lock it shut. USB lead for charging, I guess, and um, firmware updates, that kind of stuff, and of course manuals. Um, Price-wise, you can check the website, but off the top of my head, I think the remote is about 70 quid, the tripod is about 25 quid, the Karma Grip is about 300, ouch. Casey, I think, that's about, that about 50 quid, something like that. I can't remember the exact price. The um, Karma Grip case was probably about the same, maybe like 40 quid, something like that. Um, so in terms of accessories, um, obviously you've got to get yourself an SD card as well. Um, some of these were cheaper I think they were all cheapest on the GoPro site to be fair to GoPro um, I've seen I saw the Karma Grip a lot more expensive on other sites um, so for the accessories these are the kind of accessories that I think you should, that you can probably find are useful when you're out and about with your GoPro and uh, this video just covers what's in the box and um, if you found it useful give it a thumbs up um, any comments just leave them there if you want me to do anything in particular um, I'll be taking the Karma Grip out for a little test pretty soon um, and obviously if I have any updates I'll um, do another video but uh, thanks for watching and I hope it's helpful